work. It's a good job, Capone. Is that fun? Well, good morning, folks. Welcome to Freedom Ranch Homestead. Brooke and Bree are out at a woman's conference today, and so I'm going to be working on the hog pen. And all the work we did last week, if you watched the previous video, um, kind of went for nothing, at least in the short run, as the, the boar broke through and we didn't have the hot wire turned on yet. We couldn't quite get it done Sunday night at 8.30 in the evening, but um, ran out of time. I had to go travel and Anyway, so I'm back at it. I'm gonna get the wiring redone on this and I'm gonna use actual wire this time instead of the poly wire. And the reason I'm doing that is because these, these pigs have forgotten their wire training lessons and the piglets had never really been trained. So um, time to get them back in line. I think these boards are gonna take a little bit more heat in order to uh, keep them from breaking through the wire mesh fence, especially as the sows come into heat. Um, we'll have to deal with that. Okay, so I bought another solar charger, and this one's a Patriot PS5 solar energizer, and it's supposed to power up to two miles. So this is a, this this pen here is less than an acre, so um, not a problem. Um, we don't have any power back here at all, so everything we do here has to be solar powered. <laughs> After I went to install the solar charger, there's a nice little tag that says, let charge for three days before you can use it. And that's fine. Um, we'll switch it out in a couple of days. In the meantime, this one's ready to roll. So I'm gonna rehook everything up and then we're gonna give it a test and see just how hot this wire is. Ready to turn it on, see what we have. 7.7. So the next step is to change out this, this gate. This was only here temporary. It's way too big. Uh, as you can see, it all it's all janked up. I'm gonna switch it out with a six foot gate. And so that'll be in the next step. And then we'll build out the frame for the roof to go on hopefully tomorrow. Well, it's 5.30 and uh, I think I'm gonna take a break. This gate was a lot more difficult to readjust and, and get on than I expected, but <laughs> it seems like everything's like that. But anyway, hopefully Brooke will be home pretty soon and uh, I won't get in too much trouble for not getting a lot done today. But I got a few things accomplished, so. The next day, Gabe came home to help secure the panel between the sow and the boar's pen. I don't think we'll have to worry about him getting through there. Riding that boar. <laughs> you are big and very, very ugly. The roofing for the horse shed has arrived and also for the pig pen. Good morning, everybody. We are back down at the hog pen because there still is a lot of work that needs to be done. Unfortunately, the boars pushed through the gate again, or the new fencing. So we are about to separate Waddles into the cow pen here so she can eat lots of food this morning while we're working on getting the fence mended and the electricity running through it and then getting the boars in there and then putting the roof on their shelter. Don't worry, big guys, we're gonna be feeding you soon enough. <laughs> is this my girl? Is this my girl? It is! Dirty. 
first thing that we are doing is uh, Bree and I are going to grab some two by fours because we're going to start framing out the roof line. Junky pile of wood, but it will work. Take her on down there, Bree Bear. Here's another two by four I'm going to grab. first one up, but we're not going to do any more until we get the tin to make certain that the tin can slide under here with no problem. Since we're at the garden, we're picking up a couple of melons for the piggies. So we've put the roofing on and it's a perfect fit, but the problem is we still need to put our one buys that go across. And so that won't be a perfect fit. So we're gonna cut a little bird notch out of here. So this sits a little bit lower. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Square the boards up. <laughs> we figured that out. Once just we a got minor the, redo. Uh, yeah, just a minor one. So now we're squaring each one up. That's what we're doing. Is. Make it square. Yeah. This is the final board going up. I'm gonna put Ah, baby, this is your prize. You get a cool little yeah, sling a dinger. <laughs> Final piece going up. Yeehaw! Waddles, are you okay with the roof looking like that? Huh? Can we get your input on this? It's very important. Are you good with it? Yeah, I think she's good with it. Yep. Yeah. She said yes. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. What we have left to do here is we're going to take this hog wire off and then we're gonna um, add boards across here on this side and then
from here to here. So that will be completely enclosed in there. We have completed the roof. <laughs> Do your happy dance, baby. Just don't fall off the roof. <laughs> I love it. Woo we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Going to town. Gabe is with me and we are mending this fence as best we can, reinforcing it so that the bores cannot break through. And then we're gonna rewire the wire. As you can see, it's down on the ground. So get those bores over here. Good. So now we've taken the extra hog panel that we had and placed it as an extra layer here. And then we're gonna tie it to the T-posts. We have gotten this as solid as we can get it for now. I don't believe they'd be able to get through, but we also got all of the wire back in place and it was very easy to get the big guys over here. So now we're just trying to hook it up and see if we can get juice. Is there like, can you tell if it's on? Yeah, you just hear ticking? That's it. You want to touch it? <laughs> Come on, Gabe. 9.01, so it's hot. Sorry, dudes. You want to get a little, in for a little shockeroonie, but hopefully you'll stay in your new home. It is the next morning and the boars are in their enclosure still. They have not broken through, so that is a good thing. We had success. The mamas and the piglets are enjoying a meal without the boars bullying them. Happy day. Boom. Oh, your first bullseye. Awesome. Oh my God, that is awesome. It has been over a week and they are still on their side of the pen. Still very large, but I think it's going to take a couple of months for them to lose the weight that they've put on. But they seem to be enjoying their pen, which is fantastic. So it's very cozy in there. Still got to build those walls. Hey, Kuna, you like your home, buddy? You miss the girls? Yeah. I know. Waddles is putting on weight. She's looking good. Fabulous. So this adorable girl right here. She is my baby, as I mentioned before. She's my keeper, my birdie. She will be our future breeder. Oh, hello. I just had someone lay down for belly rubs. Yeah, hey, good. I can tell her, because she has got black spots. There's a big one on the other side, right by her adorable mouth. I love you so much, little girl. Yeah, life is good, isn't it? Life is good. Yeah, you're gonna make pretty babies. Well, hello, we got someone else coming up. Yeah. <laughs> the Gertie look-alike. 